Hey everyone, this is Nancy from New Travel Escapes, and in this video we're going to show you what our Kualoa Ranch UTV experience was like, from our online booking, travel time, the tour itself, and everything in between. Hopefully this video will help you decide if this is something you want to add to your Oahu itinerary. When we sat down together and had a discussion about all the things that we wanted to do or see during our two-week visit to Oahu, team member Jordan said only one thing, Kualoa Ranch UTVs. He didn't have a list of things or places, just the one. So naturally, we had to investigate this tour. Kualoa Ranch is located on the windward coast of Oahu. It is about 24 miles or 39 kilometers from Honolulu. It is 32 miles or 51 kilometers from Halieva. The ranch is made up of three valleys, and please pardon my pronunciation of them. The Ka'aawa Valley, the Kualoa Valley, and the Hakipu'u Valley. This area is sacred to ancient Hawaiians, and it is also a 4,000 acre private nature reserve. It's a working cattle ranch, a farm, as well as a popular tourist attraction and film location. So we wanted to see it, and what better way than on UTVs. Now I want to start off by reminding you that everything in Hawaii is expensive for tourists and Kualoa Ranch is no exception. We booked reservations at least six weeks before arriving on the island as this is something that sells out very quickly. Waiting to see what the weather will be on any given day may work for some other activities, but not this one. At the time of this video, our tour costs about $145 USD per adult or 191 Canadian Children 5 to 12 or $70 USD. You need to be 21 years of age to drive and there are a minimum of two participants per UTV. This is important to note because you need to book your UTV separately. We went with eight adults, so we had to do four separate bookings with two adults per UTV. Otherwise, we would have ended up with four adults per vehicle. Because online you can't tell how many UTVs are left for any given time slot, you need to call them and make sure there is enough space for your entire group. The lady on the phone, who was very helpful by the way, told us how many UTVs were still available for each time slot. This was important. Then you have to go back and book them online separately. Well, I guess you don't have to, but it costs more to book them on the phone with the lady who was helping us rather than book them online. This made no sense to me, but whatever floats your boat, I guess. You will get a confirmation and they will email you periodically before your arrival confirming it all set and what you'll need. The last email we got from them was the day before as a reminder of our upcoming tour. You are able to cancel your reservation no less than 48 hours before your scheduled tour if you book directly with the ranch. They suggest you arrive an hour before your scheduled departure time to complete your check-in. We did an early morning tour that started at 9am and we have arrived at Kualoa Ranch at 8 there was ample parking available for early in the morning. If you watched our Sharks Cove info video, you will have heard that theft in Oahu is high, so don't leave anything valuable in your car while you're parked. Your order in the lineup of UTVs is based on your arrival time. When you arrive, go up the stairs and enter the visitor center and gift shop. Just ask the attendant at the door where you're supposed to check in, and they will tell you where to go to pick up your reservation ticket. There are washrooms inside the gift shop if you need them, there are no washrooms along the way on the tour, so keep this in mind before you head out. After you get your reservation ticket for the UTV tour, you can head over past the horse paddock and to the UTV tour sign. They will check you in, you pick up a helmet, note they're not clean but they're functional, and you fill out your liability waivers. Drivers all have a separate wristband that indicate that they have shown a valid driver's license. If you don't have a valid driver's license, you can't drive the UTVs, but you can be a passenger. Although dirty, the UTVs are in good shape, they are well maintained. They're also automatic transmission, so pretty much anyone can drive them. The tour speed is limited to about 15 miles or 22 kilometers per hour. Sarah and Precious were our tour guides and they were fantastic. They started with a safety video, they got us all organized, we got into our UTVs and the two hour tour began. 
The Kualoa Ranch photographer takes your picture as you depart the tour and they have it printed for sale for you for 20 bucks at the end of your tour if you're interested. Now I'm going to let the tour speak for itself, so sit back and enjoy a bit of the footage from our Kualoa Ranch to our UTV tour. Near the end of the video I'll tell you what our thoughts were and whether we would do it again. They stop the tour three times so you can get out, explore a bit, take some pictures, and learn about the ranch, local history, and the Hawaiian stories. The sheer beauty of these mountains is overwhelming and it is like no other place on earth that I have ever been.
As you can see, Kualoa is a working cattle ranch. So what did we think? To be honest, going into it, we thought it was a one and done situation, meaning that we will try it once, but it's not likely to be something we'll do it again. Well, we were wrong. It was so much better than any of us expected it to be. Words and pictures just can't do it justice. This tour gave us a very unique way to learn about the area, its history, its spiritual importance to Hawaiians. We got a chance to see a working branch and farm and learn about things that they are doing to preserve their heritage and be stewards to the land. There was, of course, the mention of some movies that were filmed there, but it was by no means the focus of the tour. I think if you really want to focus on film and all that's been done at Kualoa, you would need to take the Hollywood movie sites and ranch tour. All this being said, it was better than we expected and we are definitely putting Kualoa on our list for our return trip to Oahu in February. Maybe we will try the horseback riding tour or the zipline next time. I haven't decided that part yet, but I do know that we will definitely be coming back. Something else I wanted to share with you is that you can buy food at Kualoa. It's a bit of a cafeteria style restaurant sort of thing as part of the gift shop. We decided to pack a picnic lunch and go across the street from the ranch entrance to the Kualoa Beach Park. This was a fantastic spot to have a picnic, go in the water and walk on the beach. 
There was plenty of free parking. There are also restrooms, and you can easily see Mokoli'i, also known but less politically correct as Chinaman's Hat. This was the perfect lunch spot for us after our UTV adventure. Mahalo for watching our video. We hope it was helpful for your vacation planning. Most people don't want to waste their money. Budgeting for and planning out a vacation is important so you can get the most out of your vacation dollars. We're trying to make informational videos about travel and the things that we've done and the places we've gone so you can better decide if it is something that you would like to do too. Please like and subscribe and we will be back with more travel escapes just for you.